our current project for the Capture Photo Festival. It's a series of four billboards uh, in Northeast Falls Creek, and the title of the work is Flood, Displaced Horizon. Uh, It's a project um, that involved uh, photographer Howard Ursuliak, as well as a number of the other site's uh, um, producer team. We often are undertaking projects, well, usually or almost always in the public realm or dealing with the public realm. So there can be a fair bit of complexity uh, beyond what you'd expect from like a studio practice where you're really controlling, where the conditions don't kind of get unwieldy. So so for that reason, it, it does lend itself to a collective and to collaboration we kind of go through a process that's very conversational, you know, so a group discussion where ideas kind of build. We did do a couple of sessions together just as as the collective and sort of talked about a number of different ideas that then allowed, I think, the, the ideas around the foreshore to sort of start to include other ideas around um, economies and and how the economy operates and what, how those things might intersect in relation to this bigger idea of the flood. So these were a lot of things that we talked about in our open studio session about the history of Falls Creek and uh, about this notion of liquidity, of water, of how capital flows and ebbs and flows and um, how evident that is within uh, that neighborhood in particular. Northeast Falls Creek um, is new land. It was essentially created 100 years ago uh, by filling in a very abundant um, food source, uh, source of salmon runs and clam beds that were um, a really important Um, food location for local First Nations. Brilliantly, uh, Howard's practice um, sort of began with a standard format photograph of some of these very iconic views of Northeast Falls Creek. Flood Displaced Horizon was a collaborative project I uh, took on. I was actually invited by other sites, uh, Project for Artists, to work with them on a series of billboards that would be part of the Capture Festival. And it was that way of collaborating with a group that actually uh, initiated uh, a, a way to proceed to produce the work as as the motivation to to create new techniques, work through technology to come up with this final a final set of images that would be placed on billboards. We were very open to um, how those images would evolve, what the content of those images would be. So we had a really um, a couple of great sessions with him, and then by extension Kyle. I went around a city thinking about, okay, that billboard space, that's a specific type of viewing relationship that isn't the viewing relationship that exists in the gallery or the museum. It's a very different form of experience. The horizon that's referred to in the title, Displace Horizon, uh, was something else that was a big part of our conversation. Um, and it was about how a horizon operates in the picture pictorial space of a photograph. It's like a, it's a destination. It's an aspirational point. So I was looking for opportunities where I could create compositions that then would be manipulated uh, and knowing that the horizon was going to be essentially obscured in the image. By removing what happens right where the horizon and the foreground meet, right? And and in terms of the project, Flood, Displaced Horizons, that foreground is actually the foreshore, the foreshore of False Creek. So once I had my shots established and had the files, digital files, I worked in my studio with my technician, Kyle Giron, and uh, we had to do a series of small test prints just to kind of reestablish the compositions where the fold would happen that would remove and obscure the horizon. Then we um, had to test papers that would allow us to print a water-based ink from inkjet inkjet printing, um, but would also allow us to wet the paper so that we could get that fold and that roll happening. Uh, Went through a number of different papers, ended up with a vellum, 
Uh, and then we realized that once it was wet, all that water-based ink starts to bleed. So we had to come up with a way to stabilize the, the ink on the paper and still allow it to act in that way that it could be draped and folded. When you displace the horizon, when you take it out of the picture, places us in this really intense present moment, which is a really appropriate moment for um, us to be thinking about right now in relation to climate change and the incursion of water into our neighborhoods over the next, over the coming decades, all of the other kinds of floods and flows of capital that have created a lot of wealth, uh, but also created a lot of uncertainty and difficulty for the people here in the city.